Coin Op. Hey there, YouTube Coin Community. This is Dustin with Coin Op. Tonight, we are going to be taking a look at the most valuable Lincoln Cent varieties that you can find coin searching um, from 2000 to 2009. These varieties that I'm going to show you are literally the ones that I look for. These are the ones that I look for. They seem to bring the most money or they are the most sought after. So we'll take a look at that. But first, I wanted to give a little shout out to a Jeffrey Lynn out in the Variety and Error Coin Group on Facebook. Jeffrey Lynn had posted his first double die that he found coin searching. Uh, it's a 1972 double die adverse. It's listed as a DDO-003. Uh, it's a nice little find. It's a great find. I wish you the best and I hope that you keep finding these varieties. I know in comments you said you're ecstatic and you can't wait to keep searching and find more. So I wish you the best of luck. Good luck with your coin searching. Good luck with everybody's coin searching. So we're going to dive right on into this video. Once again, this, this is the most valuable Lincoln Cent varieties that you can find in pocket change from the years 2000 to 2009. Okay, first up, we are going to be taking a look at a 2000 Wide AM. Now, in the video prior to this, I showed the 1998 Wide AM and the 1999 Wide AM. This is the 2000 Wide AM. What had happened was, is they ended up using the reverse for the proof coins that they had minted that year and accidentally used it on one of the business strike, which is what you're looking at. Now, the 2000 Wide AM, uh, you can find these in pocket change. So if you're coin searching pocket change or a jar of change or a box of pennies from the bank, do keep your eye out for these. Um, they range anywhere from a dollar to eight dollars in circulated condition and ten to twenty dollars in uncirculated conditions. Um, now do keep in mind that very extremely high-end uncirculated examples will fetch more. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 2000D, which is a 2000 Denver Mint, uh, double die reverse. This is listed as DDR-001. Now this variety is a class nine double die. Uh, doubling shows as extra columns rotated 130 degrees right behind Lincoln in the Memorial Building. Uh, circulated examples of this variety can fetch anywhere from a dollar to eight dollars and uncirculated examples bring in around ten to twenty dollars sometimes more so if you keep your eyes open for this once again you find these searching your pocket change okay we are moving on to a 2004 double die adverse this is listed as wddo-003 a doubling shows as extra thickness in Liberty with notches on the top left corners of the RT and Y of Liberty. Now, these, uh, this is also a class nine double die. Circulated examples range anywhere from a dollar to $10 and uncirculated examples trade anywhere from 15 to $30, sometimes a little more for very high uh, exceptional examples. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 2006 Double Die Adverse. This is listed as WDDO-032. So this is the 32nd one in the series. There are a bunch of different Double Dies for the 2006. So do keep your eyes open for all different sorts of them. I will post links down in the comments to various uh, resource websites that you can use to look up various varieties such as DoubleDie.com, VarietyVista.com, or uh, coppercoins.com. Anyhow, the 2006 double die adverse, and I said was listed as WDDO-032, is a class four double die that shows significant offset hub doubling on the date, motto, and liberty. Uh, now this one is definitely worth your time to look for because it brings a very nice money. Circulated examples from low grade range anywhere from 20 bucks up to $100 
and uncirculated examples trade anywhere from $120 to $350 and it can cost a lot more for a, a very high graded uncirculated example. And we are going to move on to the 2009 formative years which uh, in 2009 there are four different reverses. Um, this one is the formative years reverse which is Lincoln as a young man sitting reading a book on a log of wood. Now there are a lot and I mean a lot of different double dies. So I'm just going to show you a few different examples um, which we should be looking at right now but there are a lot of different examples. Doubling tends to show as either an extra thumb or an extra finger. So when you're looking at the reverse down at its hand while he's reading the book, make sure you're looking at the thumb and the first finger. There's big areas that you're looking for doubling. Um, when you do find these, they trade anywhere from a dollar to $10 in circulated condition, which you know straight out of your pocket change, been around for a while. And they trade 15 to $30 uh, in uncirculated examples and very nice high grade ones can sometimes trade a lot more but there are many many different double dies for the 2009 year so definitely check all of your 2009 Lincoln cents looking for double dies there are double dies with some of the other different uh, reverse designs so do keep your eye out for those like I said I will post links down in the comments to various reference websites for you to go check out if you like having books you could always Check out Cherry Pickers, it's a great book series, and Strike It Rich with Pocket Change is another excellent resource book. Um, I personally have both of those. Well, we certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. We do hope it encourages you to keep searching, check your pocket, look for some of those rare varieties. Uh, they don't get on the market unless we find them. We do have a website. It's varietyerrors.com. Head on over there and check it out. There is a link at the top of the channel page. Uh, you can always click on that. So if you'd like to find me or Robert Lawson, you can do so on the Variety and Error Coin Group on Facebook or in the Coin Op group on Facebook as well. If you have not done so yet, hit that like button. If you'd like to help the channel, hitting that like button is definitely a way to do it. The more people hit that like button, the quicker YouTube is to share our videos with other people. So if you'd like to help us out, hit that like button. If you have not done so already, I do encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of content already on the channel and a whole bunch more that is in process of being made and is on its way to you. So stay tuned. And once again, thanks for your view.